What a year 2024 has been. It's been a mix of the strange and the amazing. I'm Nash from Astronomy, and here's a quick look back at my year. The first quarter of the year was all about the total solar eclipse that happened on April 8th, 2024. I even had my 15 seconds of fame where I appeared on national television on Good Morning America and ABC News. I was interviewed for over an hour and while most of my technical insights were not aired and only my 30 seconds of travel plans were on the air, it was still surreal to see myself on TV. And even more so hearing from people I haven't spoken to in a long time texting me or messaging me on Facebook saying, hey, I just saw you on TV. It was a really strange feeling. And of course, ABC News misspelled my name, but luckily when my footage also aired on the Tamron Hall show, they got my name correct. But the eclipse wasn't just about the spotlight. It allowed me to share my knowledge and connect with many of you. This channel grew because of it, and I'm extremely grateful for everyone who watched, asked questions, and gave me feedback on my videos. And I believe because of that, the quality of my videos over the last year have gotten better exponentially. So thank you all. One of this year's biggest surprises, not only one, but witnessing three different Aurora events from my Bordel 8 backyard, something that I didn't think that I would ever be able to do. First time I saw the Aurora was on May 10th, and it is unforgettable. And the Aurora show on October 10th was the first time my son saw the Aurora, and I know he'll forget it because he was only a year and a half old, but I have plenty of pictures and plenty of time lapses to show him when he's older. 2024 also brought us an amazing comment. We knew about this comment 18 months ahead of time, and the amount of prep work that went into imaging this was incredible. For the first time since Comet Neowise a few years ago, I saw this Comet Naked Eye and I was able to help others find and image it. It was a really special way to connect to my local community because it was Naked Eye visible from my Bortle 8 neighborhood. Beyond that, I even tried out my first smart telescope this year, the Seastar S50, thanks to my friend Jesse. And beyond that, I was able to test out the Seastar S30 as well as the Dwarf 3 smart telescope. And I believe 2025 will have a lot more smart telescope views, especially when I'm continuing to do my outreach. Also this year, I hosted 16 live streams, beating my 2023 record of three. My year was filled with so many different astronomical memories, including star clusters, galaxies, nebulae, planets, the sun, the moon, the moon blocking the sun. And along the way, I've built connections with astronomers, astrophotographers, and people newly entering this hobby. I'm excited to keep learning and sharing my journey with you in 2025. If you'd like to join me, please subscribe, like the video, and if you have Discord, join us on our Discord server where we have a growing community of astronomy enthusiasts and we would love to have you. Thank you for spending part of your year with me, and here's to another year of exploring the universe together. Clear skies.